Well, welcome back everybody. I'm Joseph, here playing Tears of the Kingdom. I am in Kakariko Village, and we are ready to answer some questions that arose in our last playthrough. I came up here on top of Paya's house and discovered a, a Korok. Thought I'd go ahead and get this. That's a pretty cool place. I don't think you'd usually see this side of the house or the waterfalls. I just love how everything is designed in this game and Breath of the Wild and Age of Calamity. Look at this view. Who usually gets to see this view, huh? It's so cool. Oh, okay, we've got some people running around here. I thought we would go ahead and take care of a couple of the little things here in the neighborhood. Like we would help the grandma recover from her gloom sickness. Oh, it looks like the girls are praying. That's so sweet. And here comes her dad, Dorian. We hadn't met Dorian in the last episode. And so I wanted to meet him. See what he's been up to. Oh. Who? Is that really you? L Link? Why is... it? It's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh, and right now, too, while our chief is... The chief? Ah, oh. uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Which we did hear. We we knew a lot. Dorian doesn't know how much we've gotten around. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but... Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Sorry, Dorian. And then the kids scamper up here to get out of the rain? Or are they coming up here to meet Paya? Play hide and seek? Oh, that's so cute. Katla. I hate rain. When I was small, Big Sis used to cry at Mommy's grave when it rained. That's why rain should go away. Aww. Mommy's grave. Coco. <sighs> Mother used to say that people who spend lots of time in the rain are trying to hide something. What are you trying to hide? Your footsteps? Or maybe your tears? Wow, I, I didn't expect such a tough question from Coco. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a joke. For some... Okay, that's more in the spirit of Coco and Katla. For some reason, Coco always... I mean, I always feel sad on rainy days. Oh. She started to talk about herself in the second person. Interesting. So, one of the things that I did between episodes is I used my amiibos. And I happened to get our favorite steed. The one and the only. Uh, she coming? I put her up here and I thought she would come galloping around the corner out from the house and come charging over to me. I'm surprised Epona didn't respond. We got Epona in between the last two episodes. I wonder if she's not, like, technically supposed to be here, so they don't expect a horse to have the need to gallop out from there. Well, there goes the moment. I thought that that would be cool and dramatic to see her just come galloping out from the house. So we got Epona, and what I want to do... Oh, is that, uh... Is, I'm wondering if this mushroom is still here. Yeah, the Iron Shroom. Cool. I want to find a traveling merchant selling milk. And folks here in the town have told us that we could find such a merchant out uh, the west side of Kakarika Village. You okay there, Epona? She looks so pretty. Yeah, you're a good girl. We know you are. I like the way that that Hylian ins insignia is emblazoned on the front of Epona. Gorgeous. I don't ride Epona all the time, even though I have her now. 
Is there anything in here? Okay, I think I already got a treasure chest out of there. And we sometimes see frogs out here. Yeah, so I went ahead and returned Spot. Spot's not really my style of horse, to be honest. Is this the traveling merchant? I really am good at business. Proud of yourself, aren't you? Nimbus. Aww. Hello and welcome. Just as I predicted, a customer has arrived. I am a merchant, you know. It's not like I'm here for no reason. Kakariko Village is bubbling due to the discovery of the Ring Ruins. A number of folks have passed through, not only researchers. This is the very best location to tempt passers-by who are in the market for quality goods. So, ah. welcome to Nemesis Fine Goods. Please take a look at our carefully curated offerings. Ah. So, we're trying to make the porridge for Lasley's grandmother, and we needed to have the milk. I'll take them all. You will want milk for other dishes by the end of the game. And since we can get fireproof li lizards, I think we'll probably need a lot of these to upgrade the fireproof set. I'll go ahead and take those too. All right. Thank you so much, Nimbus. Keep Nimbus's fine goods in mind for all your mercantile needs. I don't know if I can get everything I want from you out of this cart. I mean, you're not even selling the flowers. Okay, I had to just change my headphones because the battery on my wireless headphones just died. So, I like these headphones, I just don't like them as much as the new black ones are. Really nice for me. So, continuing back into town, we will get started on making the food for Grandmother. You'll just gall gallop into town pretty easily. Alright, alright. Hmm, what's Kotla doing now? What do we have here? She's doodling. <laughs> I drew the ring ruins. Big Sis and me. Isn't it good? I also want to draw the stone slabs they found in the ruins. But they're covered in weird writing that's too hard to copy. Oh, okay. Okay, so then Coco's back at it. I think we can go ahead and cook. All right, so what we need is the rice, the milk, the Sunday lion, the Hylian herb. Was there anything else? I think that's all there was. If we need something else, we can always do it again. Yes, the porridge. The sunny veggie porridge. Okay, you can stay there, Epona. Now we just gotta find the grandmother. Looks like the old codgers are back at their gardening. Here she is. Nana. I don't know who you are. But I'm sorry you have to see me like this. I'm dealing with an illness and don't have the strength to get up. If this is about the clothing shop, please talk to Clary. Illness? The other day when I was cleaning up the hill, I got too close to the chasm. That's when I accidentally touched that gloom. It has taken quite a toll out to my age. But don't worry, I'm all right for now. My granddaughter, Leslie, is looking after me. She should be just outside the house. The poor girl is very worried about me. I need to get better soon. Maybe I need to talk to Leslie about it? Maybe she... Yeah, she's back over here at the cooking pot where we talked to her the first time. She's just getting worse and worse. I need to hurry and make her a porridge that will help her gloom sickness. Huh? What is that gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Could it be? D 
Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Give it a try. It's just right here in my back pocket. What did you see this was again? A sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. Mm. Well, grandmother, how is it? Uh. Thank you, lastly. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Whoa. Grandmother, your complexion. The color's coming back to your cheeks. Ah. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. Oh. So you were the one who made that porridge for me? Such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit, too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so thankful to the both of you. Ah. Grandmother, what are you doing up? Clary. Uh -huh. Oh, Clary, I'm so sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that Lasley, that was Lasley's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Lasley. Huh? You knew? You can't get anything by her, Lasley. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hateno Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Ah. Clary, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success right here in my beloved Kakariko Village right next to my beloved grandmother. And I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, Lastly, So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hateno Village and come back to us a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it? Thank you, Clary. And thank you, grandmother. Well, now that grandmother's all better, I think it's time to head back to the shop. I've got to make sure my prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. You should come to Enchanted yourself. Oh yeah, that's what I'm here for. Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty though, so I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. Energizing veggie porridge. Okay, cool. So stamina up. We yeah. needed some stamina uh, foods. I'm going to work hard w for my big sister. Just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. That is fantastic. Now we can buy the stealth set. This place. And we want these. Ah. Yes, I'll buy. With a steel like that. Oh, cool. We uh, that should toss that in as a bonus. Ah. 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 Very good, very good. Ah. Thank you, Clary. Interesting, she doesn't have the book that she had on the counter like she did in Breath of the Wild that you could read. Now we just gotta get back to, we got the shrine to do, and we also have the inn owner. And I think he's up at this one. So how do we get to him? Maybe if I just get up to the shrine, it'll be easier to get to the inn's owner because he wanted the hearty truffle. Uh, people think that if we gave him a hearty truffle, he'd wake up. And, he fell asleep on one of the stone tablets. Up, up, and away! It's a cool way to travel. We'll go ahead and do the shrine.
an upright device. Okay, it looks like they do want us to ascend again, which was well implied by how it, we had to get up to the shrine. Okay. Uh... This green device on the bottom is a stabilizer. Activate it, and it rises, and then we can ascend to get on top of the platform. And then we can glide to the other side. Now we need an orb in there to open up this gate. And if you look over here, there's an orb. And in that corner, there is a chest up on a ledge. So we can use this stabilizer and riser to get up here. Now we have access to the orb. Okay, so we need to attach the stabilizer. It's a stabilizer because when it's on, no matter what, it wants to stand upright. And it's very much impossible to force it to not be upright when it's on. Okay. And it looks like it's going to go in. Okay, good. Now we can use this as a catapult for ourselves. Thank you. We'll get up to the treasure chest. Nice. We had liftoff. Fairy tonic, one of the betters. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just so long as it gets you across. Now we can use this catapult to extend this one so that it can throw us over here to the end of the shrine. I don't know if we have to do this to get to the other side, but it's the best way to do it in style. You'll see what I mean. See, like, hypothetically, we could just get on top of the platform and leap across, paraglide to the other side, but I don't think it'll actually work that way. I think it's too far of a distance to get to the other side without catapulting. That is so cool. Now if we ever want to catapult ourselves out there in Hyrule, we can. All right, now to find the end zoner. All right, Chulin, give me a boost. So when we attempted to give the hearty truffle to the end zoner last time, I specifically came over here thinking that we would talk to Gordy and that we would give him the truffle and he would offer it to the end zoner. And then it occurred to me we didn't actually talk to the end owner, so we could come back here and talk to him and he goes on about, oh, a hearty truffle, it's all that I need, it would make me wake up, but he doesn't do anything. So then I realized we could just, you know, drop a hearty truffle. And if I drop it, then what happens? 
My lovely, hearty truffle fungus of my dreams. Your aroma is unmistakable. You may hide, but my nose knows. <laughs> the hearty trouble has defied gravity to wake up Ollie. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. <laughs> that is too cool. Ah, uh, huh? Was was that just a dream? And where am I? Oh. That's right. I was changing the beds. Anyway, to thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Ooh, that traveler's going to be so mad at me. Did he take the truffle? He didn't take the truffle! That's awesome. Uh -huh. Thanks for helping me wake that guy up. I can't believe he fell asleep on one of the priceless stone slabs. That can't have been comfortable. Anyway, I'm glad he woke up before Saguru found him. Stone slab? Ah, oh, yes. Stone slabs are, well, slabs. Like the one the inn owner was using as a bed. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruin sites here. They found this one in the ruin above us. Ah. Our leader is able to read Zonai writing and says that the text on the slab is a record of a historic fight. One that was between a great king of that era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside the ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Aww. It worries me to know that Discovery talks about a demon king's return and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time there. You can read the deciphered writing, writing for yourself. It's all right here next to this, in this slab. Mm. Hang on. If I slept on the stone slab, would I dream about the glory days of the Zonai? Saguru never comes down, so maybe I'll give it a try. So that's what this slab was about. So I guess the case is closed, unless we want to check in on the inn owner in town. He didn't take the truffle, and he didn't thank us. I'm the sleepy one here. Hey, there you are. Sounds like I've got you to thank for waking this guy up. No more watching the inn for me. Here's a little something for giving me back my free time. Sticky elixir. That is going to be yeah, po quite possibly very useful for what we're going to be doing next. <laughs> it's a high quality concoction made of four sticky frogs and a boat coblin horn. Should come in handy for a rainy day adventure. Right then. Now to finally take that nap. I might even splurge on a soft bed. Cool. Uh, I could splurge on a soft bed. Yeah, you customer, right? Thanks for waking me up with the scent of that truffle. I'll think of its aroma the next time I drift off to sleep. Very much appreciated. Uh, that person on the survey team was telling me about that stone slab, and before I knew it, I mean, you know. The last thing I heard about I fell asleep was uh, that there is uh, more stone slabs with writing on them. Well, the regular bed is 20 rupees, and the, the soft bed is 30 rupees, I guess. I'll do the soft bed. So, um, when should I wake you? Morning. Morning? Alrighty, if you insist. I wonder if I'll be awake. I'll think of mine. Take care of your customers. This will give us a bonus yellow heart, I hope. Yes. Oh. Good morning. Die, you don't have to stick around now. Alright, so as for ourselves, we've taken care of the things I'm mostly needed to take care of right now. I'm really interested in hopping into the East Hill Chasm and taking the path it leads us in in the depths, but I don't want to do that really this time. 
What I'm really thinking about is Zora's Domain. Now, I've done a little bit of research. I've done a little bit of, um, you know, uh, just exploring in my first playthrough. I took the original path that goes winding uh, uh, through the woods and over the hills to get into Zora's Domain, and I found that it is one way to get into the Domain. But the downside to taking that path is that you'll miss the Skyview Tower entirely. You won't have it activated. And so the entire time you're roaming around the Zora's Domain, you don't really see the map. So then it got me to thinking, well, a lot of people probably go to the tower first, and then from there they go into Zora's Domain. And I think that that may be the primary way that they wanted players to get into the domain in this game, unlike Breath of the Wild, where they wanted you to take that winding path to follow Sidon up by the river. So this time it is about finding the local Skyview Tower, getting it activated, and then happening across Zoro's Domain. So we will begin with that premise and find ourselves in Zoro's Domain this way. So we're going to go over here to this particular uh, stable, We'll grab a Pona again, and we will continue from there to the Skyview Tower for the area of the Zora's Domain. So we took this path before, this part of the path before, when we were heading to Goron City, found out it wasn't the right way to go. Here we've got a red Hinox, I would like to use the stealth set for the first time. Ha 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 ha. We will give him the royal treatment with Tulin and Yidobo. This will be fun. I don't think they're going to get any piece of the action. Oh, I even outdid myself. Unibo, you're going to have to be faster than that to keep up with me, pal. I thought I might use Unibo to, like, launch him at the high knots. Not necessary. We have everything under control. So what we're looking for is a Skyview Tower around here-ish. And it's easy to mistake a couple of other sightings like the one over here and the one up here. I'm not sure which one that is. Let's see. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. Hey, it's Addison. I'll help him out real quick. I have no idea if this is going to work. Let's see. Ah! Mm -hmm. Okay, it's close enough. All right. Now we're talking. So this takes us over here by the wetlands. We can skirt past them. On the way, we are going to come across a bunch of bright crabs on the sand here. And I want to collect those. And having the stealth armor makes that a little bit easier, too. We'll need the bright crabs later. 
think the bright crabs ought to be around here. There they are. Good. Bright-eyed crabs. And you really want all of them for what we'll need them for later. Nice. Well, there's one getting away. Now, we just proceed like we're interested in this tower up on top of the little mountain. The rocky hilltop. Oh, what just happened? Hitting the sign knocked me off of Epona. That's strange. Come up here and we spy the ladder that probably the team Bolson's construction company built to help them get up to the hilltop to build the tower. So we'll take it. And we stumble across some enemies. Of it all. Give up, you can't win. If you get the drop on them, you have nothing to worry about. As long as you got your sages to back you up. Now that we're here, we gotta just, you know, keep an eye out for anything cool. Any resources. Oh, okay, so this is new. And this is relevant to the Zora's quest get into it and it doesn't let Link move very quickly it's like sludge and there's some more and it's strewn around looks kind of like uh, Malice did in Breath of the Wild but it's not red and alive. It's just a globby mess of guck. We keep climbing as we're going to the Skyview Tower. I don't think I have to worry about the battery this time. We probably have enough power to get through. And the sludge is come, coming, it's just raining down from the sky. So while I'm here, I think I will fuse some more materials to another sword. And we'll take on this monster camp. No! Oh, that was a close one. Give him the beat down. So we're looking around, making sure we don't miss anything, and we spy the Bloopy. And the Bloopy travels over here to the cave. So naturally, we explore. We come to find 
The uplands around the Zorada mountainside cave. So we go in. Find another monster. Seems to not notice us because we're in stealth. The Zor Spear doesn't look like much right now, but we are going to really appreciate them soon. Thankfully, we are able to replace our bomb flower pretty quickly. They must have wanted us prepared in case we didn't have Unibo with us. Deeper into the cave we go. Then it turns out this is an exit. Not much there. But we are introduced to yet another threat. Oh, that's not good. Come on, man. I think I just shot him out of bounds. All right. Guess we're not getting his whiz rot one today. Okay, so one thing we could do is here we're presented with two options. We could climb up the mountain or we could go around here looking for an alternative. Both are very valid choices. Because if there's something like a cave that we could get into and then ascend in, it would take us right up to where we want to go. And we wouldn't necessarily have to... Yeah, so we got another cave. All right, so there's the cave, and we want to get ready to attack to fight the keys. Oh, the keys didn't come. Okay, I expected to have keys. And I was going to get all their eyeballs. All right. Well, not this time. Took me by surprise. So with these wet, damp caves, if we have to do any climbing... We're going to be th grateful that we have the that sticky elixir because it'll help us climb the walls with water on them. Now we can climb up walls that are wet without too much of a hassle. Got me. Forgot how feeble we are with uh, the Sheikah stealth armor. Oh, 
<laughs> Nothing to worry about here. So, here we do have to be a little bit more clever. We need to stand on the rock to cut the vines in the way. Made all of the bright bloom seeds bloom. And you know we're in Zora territory when we start getting their shields from a like like. I really like all of my shields, but I really like this one too. Let's take it. Oh, okay, so we got a Misko's treasure around here somewhere, right? Looks like this is another cave entrance. Great resources. And they give you those sticky lizards, so you know you're gonna need to use some of their sticky ingredients for an elixir. Oh, we got our first big hearty truffle, which we were looking for last time. Can we stand on this? Yeah, we needed to in order to get this guy. Oh, nuts. Very nice. And here is something quite unusual to find. And so of the two ways you can use to get up to the Skyview Tower, this one is the more interesting one just because of what you have here. These ruins inside of a cave. Underwater. So there's luminous stone under the water, so you know that you have to be able to do something to get the water to go down so that you can get that luminous stone. Because you can't smash and take it. It's, uh... Uh, crystal unless you're able to get the water to go down. <laughs> By raising this hatch the water is able to drain out and we can get to the bottom. <laughs> Now, the real question is, where was Misko's treasure? Hmm. I'm trying to remember myself. I, I honestly don't know. Is that a Staminoka? Yeah, great. Oh, cool. I've plumb forgot about this passage if I ever did find it. The climbing boots. Okay, I have found this passage before in my first playthrough. I did not remember this space. Very cool. Unibo, you're not used to the water, are you? 
You're like a Goron out of fire. Like a fish out of water. So it's a Hylian construction in here. All of this was Hylian at one time. Yeah, look at these cool knight suits. Statues. But you come in here and... There's nothing. It's all filled up, so whatever passage there used to be here changed ages ago. So we use this to get up to the tower. And like that, we made it to the Skyview Tower. And now getting to Zora's Domain is going to be largely a breeze. Down here, we got it. So the Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. And we have found our first Zora. You, you there, please help me. The sludge fell upon me so suddenly. Ooh, I could wash it away if only I had some water. And so what we will do is we'll use a splash fruit. And that water cleans up the sludge nice and easy. And we're able to talk to Baz. You, you saved me. Thank you. How shameful that this should have happened to me. Captain of the guard at Sora's domain. Unbelievable. Oh. After the upheaval, that filth suddenly began falling from the sky. It's solely to the waters around here and in Zora's domain. Everyone is at their wit's end because of it. That is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself. To think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. <sighs> Just thinking of it makes my skills bristle. Ugh. My gills still feel so unclean. If you had not sprayed me with that water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Please take this Zora spear as a token of my thanks. I am sorry that it is not much, but it is all I have. It decayed like all the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but, well, it is not unusable, at least. Hmm? Ah, you have many weapons in your possession, it would seem. If you make room and return, I will give you this Zora spear. Oh, poor Bass. I hope you feel better very soon, my friend. And now we have the Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. And nothing can stop us. So the other way should we have just climbed the cliff face of the rocks, we would have found another cavern altogether, which you will want to uh, explore in, at one time or other. So, you just have to make the time for it. And, uh, we will probably look into it at another time. But we don't need it for where we're going. I'm really looking forward to running into Sidon and letting you meet new characters in Zora's Domain. And catching up with the old ones that we remember from Breath of the Wild. So we have a cluster of unique islands near us. All right, we will go right over here to this orb, the Laneru Sky Archipelago. And what we're looking for is this hole in the Death Star. and make an important discovery. Jiru Tagumak. Jigura, Jigura, 
Jiru Tagovac Shrine. And this is where we're going to pick up next time. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure to have you along. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I actually spent a good deal of time trying to figure out what was the most interesting way to find yourself traveling into Zora's domain. We're roughly halfway there, or three-fourths of the way there, so next time we will be in the heart of the city. And please join me again. So may God bless you all. I'll see you then. Cheers. <laughs>